In this video, I shall present a brief overview of neuroendocrine tumor of the appendix. Neuroendocrine tumors are rare tumors, tend to be less aggressive than the more common adenocarcinomas, but not always so. Appendix is a blind tube attached to the bottom of the cecum, which is the early part of the colon. We will discuss the symptoms, the tests required, and the treatment for this condition. First, the symptoms. In the great majority of the patients, the neuroendocrine tumor is a surprise finding once the appendix has been removed for suspected appendicitis. This specimen is then examined under a microscope. Rarely, this tumor may progress and get bigger in size or spread to the local lymph nodes, which are small nubbins of tissue, kidney shape, normally the size of a pinhead that have immune function, but they can also trap cancer cells, or further afield to the liver and present as an advanced disease. Since these tumors arise from hormone secreting cells, they may produce chemicals that lead to carcinoid syndrome, and patients may have diarrhea, flushing, and cramping abdominal pain. So what are the tests required for this condition and that depends on whether the appendix has been removed and whether the size of the tumor detected was two centimeter that is less than an inch and why is that important it is important because research has shown that tumors which are greater than two centimeters have a higher risk spread much higher than smaller tumors so if the removed tumor is less than two centimeter and it has no other features indicative of malignancy such as spread to the local lymph node that it has been cut out completely that it does not show high level of malignant potential dividing cells called which often is called a well differentiated or a grade one tumor and then if this if none of these features are present that indicate danger of the disease spreading then no further tests are required however if the tumor is greater than two centimeter when removed or whether it's still inside then the following scans help conventional CT scans as well as SRS scintigraphy which picks up the receptors on the neuro endocrine tumor cells such as the octreotide scan or the newer generation gallium CT PET scan pick up these tumors and is specific to neuroendocrine tumors. Blood tests also are helpful because these because rarely these tumors may secrete chemicals that we need to know about. Patients may be prone to developing the carcinoid syndrome I talked about before. For a fuller understanding of the investigations please do see my video which is devoted to investigations in neuroendocrine tumors that I shall link. Now finally the treatment. So the treatment much like the tests is dependent on the size of the tumor. So less than two centimeter tumors do not cause a high risk of malignant spread. So if these have been cut out completely at the time of the appendicectomy then no further treatment is required provided the tumor has not spread. It does not show malignant potential and the tumor has been cut out complete. Tumors greater than two centimeter in size or those that have potential mal for malignant spread will require a further operation to make sure that the cancer is completely removed. This will include the removal of the colon on the right side, procedure called right hemicolectomy, including the lymph node, and then re-establishing the bowel continuity by joining the small bowel to the colon further downstream. If the cancer has already spread to the liver or to other part, then there are treatment strategies available that I shall discuss separately in another video. For a fuller understanding of this condition, please do review the rest of the series on the Arundicum tumors. If you have watched this this far, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments, please do share.